because we're here <laughs> and we're going to do another live stream so let's see if I can get it open up here so I can see everything that's going on and hopefully see any comments as well doop doop fingers crossed anything anyone says will pop up on my screen so I can talk to you yay so we are going to continue with the piece that we started last time so let's just uh, jump on in Whee! okay so we've got a punk girl and a little geek boy nerd boy sailing on their ship so the ship being a, a book I'm going to have some tea so we're going to be coloring these guys today let's see now if I recall she's the color of a watermelon and he's using these three colors which I'm so smart I actually wrote down the numbers of because I've forgotten which ones I got out last time so simple I'll just um, use my handy dandy kneaded eraser here and lighten up this sketch which in some places does not look like it wants to lighten up so I hope you guys have all had a good week since my last video I've been doing good. I've been painting bedrooms, and by I've been painting, I mean my fiance's mostly been painting, and I did a little bit of painting. <laughs> and yeah, it looks pretty, and it's a nice coral color in there now. So the nursery is coming along. It's about time. <laughs> and my dogs are barking. So if you can hear that in the background, I apologize protecting me from dangerous people walking along the street. How dare they pass by my house. I, I can see two people are watching. I don't know who they are, but hello. Thank you for watching. Okay. So, we are going to colour these guys in. So I think I'll start with the skin tone. I'll get my handy dandy swatch sheet out, which I'll put up there because it's easier for me to see that way. Nope, 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 there. Good, good, good swatch sheet. In fact, yeah. Okay, can you still see all of the book if I do that? I think so. I'll check as I, uh, no. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, skin tones. So we've got a little nerd boy who I feel would be extremely pale because he's probably spending all his time inside. Watermelon punk girl. I've given a very standard face. So I feel like she's going to be on the paler side as well. Fair enough. Ooh, three people are watching. Hello, three people who are watching. Two people are watching. Ah, oh, goodbye third person. Oh, that was fun. It was fun while it lasted. All right. Um, let's start with our E10. Go to our blushy, blushy on our 20. Easy done. Now I'm going to do her first. I apologize if I go really quiet, I get sort of in the zone when I'm coloring and forget to talk, which is why a lot of my videos are done with voiceovers instead of live chat, because I forget to talk for a lot of my videos, because I'm in the zone and words are I'm going to 
actually like the shadow of the hand is covering that way too much, so let's just try this and see if that's any better. Oh, here we go. I can see now. <laughs> I couldn't see your uh my comments before because I had them turned off. How silly of me. Thank you, Sarah, for saying my sketches are cute. And thank you for the love heart, Cray. I forget to talk, I'm sorry. Um, I need like some kind of topic to talk about when I do these things. I need something to talk about so it's not just silence whilst I color. <laughs> Did not think this through. Did not. Let's uh, try and talk about the artwork as I do it. Maybe. Can I do that? Um, okay. So I'm keeping her very pale because I feel like it's going to go really well with the watermelon. Hello Zane, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, I feel like her being super pale is going to benefit the colour scheme that she is using. Because, I don't know, if you came to the last stream, you'll know that she's based off of a watermelon. A punk watermelon. <laughs> if that's even a thing. And, um, and thus will be watermelon coloured. And I feel like a pale skin tone is going to benefit that better. I could be completely wrong. I could have done much better with a lighter skin tone, a uh, darker skin tone even. But I'm a wimp and don't know how to colour them very well. I need to practice. So I don't want to try that on live stream and just mess it up. Okay, then my little, little nerd boy over here is going to have this. I'm looking at this hand and realizing how have I got what have I drawn? <laughs> ah like I can see that one, that's the thumb there. So that would have to be a thumb and these are all thumbs. Okay, I can see it now. I'm not sure if it works and is in fact anatomically correct. <laughs> I should have looked at my sketch a bit better before I started coloring. But, yeah, it'll do. There's not a whole lot of whiteness on his mouth, let's say. It's because he's wearing a high jumper, that's right. Oops. We need a pink shading. And I will use this one. I say shading. Blushies. We must add blushies to everything. Blushy, blushies, blushy, blushies. Blend them out. I love this paper so much. Oh, hoo hoo marker sketchbook, people. It works so nice with my blending style. 
or Copic markers. And maybe I just got a really good one because I've seen some pretty negative reviews on the paper in this book, but I really like it, so I will continue to tell everyone that it's good. All right. Now I used Easy Rosario for her, so shading-wise, I should probably go with this one, and we'll get a little cat hair. It seems either Honeybee or Vegemite has been up on my desk recently and gotten hair. Hmm, I'm not sure I like this use of colour for shading, but I've started now, so I have to continue, otherwise it will look odd. I'll just use it sparingly. I really should stream at a time when more people are online. This is the only time I can stream because I has a baby and she's napping now. If she's not napping, we end up with the ending of my last stream where there are tiny baby hands trying to steal everything off of my book. Which is adorable in its own right, but also makes it extremely difficult for actually doing art. So I'm hoping she'll sleep through this one, at least until I finish colouring. Okay, she's got skin on her legs showing which I didn't colour. This is the problem with leaving a piece of art two weeks before coming back to it. You forget the tiny details that you had in mind when you started. Not good. Not good. Also, it's very cold in here, so I'm going to warm up my tea on my cup. My fingers on my tea, I should say. Slurp. Okay, so here is these colours. Now, I could go boring and give him brown hair, but I'm thinking I'm going to give him pink hair. Maybe they can both have pink hair. Because obviously she's going to be watermelon coloured and I decided last time I didn't want to do red and green because then she'll look Christmassy. So I'm going to do like a pink colour instead. And she could have pink, dark pink hair and he could have light pink hair. They could be siblings. Oh, Didn't think of that. They could be siblings. Oh, they're brother and sister and she's like the... She's the younger one and she's super adventurous and he's the older one and he's all shy. But everyone always thinks she's older. Yeah, that's what's going. That's that's this story now. That's what's happening. Okay, so he's gonna have pale pink hair. Let's use my swatch a moment. All my pinks at the bottom, so I couldn't see them. Uh, and now I picked RVO two. But if I'm using it for hair, I'm gonna want a few different shades. So we got the RVO two that I picked last time. I'm gonna go for. RV00 and I think RV34 for the shading. Let's try this. So, I suck at colouring hair by the way. I usually just do it all solid and then add random streaks because I find it really hard to do. But I'm going to attempt to actually put some detail into this hair this time and think about the direction it's flowing in and the parting of it. Or I'm going to try. It might not go well, we'll see. 
just feel like I'm doing random lines, but I'm trying to actually think about it. Hair is hard to draw, guys. I don't know if you know this, but it's tricky. Okay, so we've got that down, and we'll use this one for some. Just a few darker areas, just to make it have some depth. And then under the lip there, and then here, because you don't want your hair looking flat and boring. It's the beauty of digital art is I could just use a gradient and a multiply layer over the top to give it the effect that I want. On this I have to attempt to blend all of the blending and it does not seem to be coming out how I wanted it to. I should have done some practicing I hate colouring hair. <laughs> I hate it. Eh. So bad at it. Anybody got any tips and tricks, feel free to link them to me because I need them. As you can see, this is this is not good. Okay. I'm gonna have to dip to the lighter colour, I think. Come back in with the RVO2. something because I think the lighter colors just not it's blending them out okay but it's not really giving any anything extra it's just blending you know what I mean I feel like this would be better once I add my art to Of pink, add lots of pink, and it will color your mistakes. Color your mistakes in theory. Okay, I'm gonna call it there on that bit. Do, 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 do. Have some tea. Okay, so we've got pink hair, and then we're gonna have to choose a pink for her hair, I think. And she's gonna have like a dark pink, so I'm thinking RVO9 style pink, and some RV69 for shading. Look how beautiful these colours are. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the darker colour first, I think, because she's got these dreads in. that I want. So I'm going to outline them all and then I can blend it into, if it works the way I'm planning anyway, um, blend it in how I'm imagining. I gotta stop humming that tune. It's stuck in my head for some reason. So this again didn't really work how I envisioned it. But it doesn't look bad either, so I can't really complain. purple, like a shader, put some shading on these six nine. Oh. 
Okay, so it's still going, but my iPad has decided it doesn't want to see me. Real good. Real good. <laughs> Let's uh, try and catch back up. Hello, me. How am I doing? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can see now. <laughs> right, so, you know, I say I'm done with that, but I haven't actually done her eyebrows or her why is my shadow all funny let's go for this one okay this pen is so juicy <laughs> that it is bleeding and I am not pleased with how much it's bleeding okay let's do some spleckalies spleckly spleckalies spleckly by the way is a technical term. It's kind of like speckly, but with a bit of speckle involved. Yes, I made that up. I'm terrible. If uh, you ever mistake, make a word sound wrong when you're talking, you talk too fast and it messes the word up and everyone finds it funny and you're like dying of embarrassment, just know that I just live streamed the word speckly and you should be fine. You shall be fine. Okay, now. And the colour eyes. I mean, if they're going to be siblings, I feel like they need the same colour eyes. And I don't really want it to be brown, because that's a bit dull. Especially next to their pink hair. Yellow could work. Yeah, let's do yellow eyes. Yellow eyes are always cool. I like yellow eyes on my characters. Okay. You! Y00 for this little guy with the shading of YR31. Nope, that's YR20. And here I thought I knew the layout of the color YR31. There we go. So we go in with the shading first, darker color, put it on, just splop it right on. Yes, splop. Again, I'm making up words. And then we use the lighter colour to blend it down and make it a nice natural looking shade. And then you can come back in with a little bit of a darker touch and add a pupil. If you don't intend on adding a pupil with your liner, which I don't think I will. Because I enjoy the look of solid colour stuff. Okay, so she's going to have yellow eyes, so the hair's going to be more saturated, so we'll go with YR23 with a Y15 face colour. So, again, a little bit of darker colour at the top, a little bit of darker colour at the top. Get your face colour and blend it down. Blend it down. And then just tap, 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 tap with your darker And even if you are going to go over the top with some liner, you can still do that extra pupil bit and it will just surround where your darker pupil will be from your liner and it will add a nice bit of dimension. Which is also something I do sometimes. Um, IR23 goes there, Y15 goes there. Okay, so we've done the eyes. Now for the outfits. And I'm just going to quickly go in here and add a little bit more skin tone. watermelon yellow brown and pink and I realize now the way that I've done this little pose on him not only is one of his arms extremely bigger than the other because of the way I put the hands it doesn't look right so I'll fix that momentarily but also I can't see his happy little calculator because his arms in the way and that makes me sad so I'm gonna quickly come in with this and just draw the bottom of his little calculator I feel like that might look silly when I colour it though, because it's just going to be this random square. Maybe if I make it thicker. But we don't want tangents of them. And then just going to have to let the eyes Okay, um, 
So I feel like I want him to have brown pants because I wanted him to have corduroys. So we'll go in with the brown first. So E35 is the one I picked, which is this one. No, that's E37. This is E35. And E39 for shading. Whoop. Okay, um, get a dark color first, then you can blend it out. Why did you ah uh, quick enough? And this guy's cauterized, so he's gonna have stripes down, so I'm gonna do a whole lot with the stripes in the darker colour. Just really quick, so you don't miss your opportunity to blend. And then when you top with the lighter colour, it will blend it out nice. And this works better if you've got more ink in your pens, this technique. Because the juicier your pen is, the easier it's going to blend out. And you can also sort of add shading with the same lighter colour over the top. Yeah, it works. Then we'll come in with the other leg, which is hiding behind the mask a little. So we're going to do that, and that, and then another one for the corduroy. Must not harm copyrighted melodies. Uh, okay. Right. That looks good. And then we just if you want them pattern lines to be a bit darker, just come back in very quickly with your darker tone over the top. And also, I'm just going to use my base colour to add a little bit of darker tone under the bottom of the jumper would be because I feel like it needs some shape. There we go. Shade under that knee, shade under that knee, drop any creases in and just do a little bit of shading on the bottom. Okay, this little boy's brown pants, trousers, Have some tea before it goes cold. And then of course, He's going to have a yellow jumper, so I'm going to quickly try and erase a bit more of this, just so the yellow will sh not show up those dark purple lines underneath. Okay. Y00. And I'm going to use YR20, I think this time, for the shading. It's like a orangey yellow, peachy yellow, close to the skin tone, but will provide a warmer shading colour, which will be nicer next to the warm brown and the warm pink colour that we've got going on for his hair. First, come back over with your lighter colour and blend it out with some smooth circles. And it occurs to me now that my Y00 pen is running out of ink because one you can tell because it's squeaking so much. Sit harder against the paper to get any ink out. Also, it's not blending very nicely. Blend, my pretties. It's okay, it's not too bad. Could be worse. 
Could be worse. Could be lots better. Could be worse. There you go. We're doing alright. If you're looking at this going, gosh, that's some messy art. Just remember, haven't done the line art yet. Line art brings everything together. And I'll be lining this with Prismacolor Color Ace pencils, I think. Just because I'm really liking that sketchy look lately. Good. Now, for the happy little calculator, if I'm going to add that in, I feel like it needs to be similar colours to the rest of his palette. So, maybe a orange. Why two? Why are we two? And just sort of. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm talking very quietly, so I'm in the zone. The zone. So that's the happy little calculator you can see over here. But you can't really tell because his arm's in the way, which is a bucket for my uh, my design there. My problem. My fault. Okay, now I feel like pink shoes would go better because he's got pink hair and it'll be like pink, pink. I also feel like the rest of his outfit doesn't have any pink, so why would he suddenly wear pink shoes, aside from the fact that it goes well with his hair? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna need pink shoes. He might not like pink shoes. He might hate the fact that he has pink hair. But it will look better overall with my design and my image if he has pink shoes. So sorry, little guy, you having pink shoes. Pink shoes it is. Pink comments. Do, 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 do. You can only see one of his shoes anyway, so. And we'll just do a little bit of shading on the sole as well. We get a really light RV000 to just blend that out. So it gives the white bit a touch of pink. Which I'm going to do with his eyes as well. A touch of pink shading on the white. And then he's got some fancy glasses on, but I'm going to go over those with the line art instead of colouring the Copics because it's going to be way too messy and God, it's cold in here. Whew, anyone else cold? I'm cold. It is winter down here right now, so my fingers are cold. Okay, um, so that's him done. Now we colour her in. Exciting. Okay, the colour of watermelon. Now, I'm going to need a nice green. Maybe a top can be pink with polka dots, so it's like the seeds. A green vest. Is it going to look weird if I have a pink polka dot top and like green stripy pants? Because I want to try and incorporate the pattern of the watermelon skin. I mean, it might look weird, but I don't think she cares. She's punky. She might like wearing stripes and polka dots. We're going to do it. We're doing it. You hear me? Alright, now she's not going to have the same pink as her hair for her top because that will blend too much. So we're going to go with this pink. Which is called, what colour is this? Tender Pink. RV13 Tender Pink. How sweet. Alright. I 
need to talk again, aren't I? Sorry. Um, okay. And then this bit. So these are going to be like the most mixed match siblings. But they still love each other, I reckon. They're, uh, they're very close. The younger one, the girl, just wants her older brother to be able to enjoy life and be a bit less scared of everything. And the older brother just wants his sister to... She was just learning to toddle and she'd fall over and bump her knee and cry and he'd patch it up with a little band-aid. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay. Um, so that's the pink. I'm going to let that dry before I put any polka dots on it. And then we'll go with the trousers in the green stripes. So we're going to need a pale green. I'm going to nominate and I nominate G07. And I'm just going to swatch these out quickly over here. Give it a test. Lighter green and darker green. Looks good. And we're going to do like a ooh, stripey pattern. Like, is this going to look any good or is this going to look messy? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to do it, because I'm feeling reckless, just like our watermelon girl here. Okay, so we'll start from, like, the crutch area, so I can... The stripes aren't going to be super uniform either. They're going to be some are thicker, some are thinner. Look at like funny angles. Because did you ever see a watermelon that's skin was uniform? No. Well, I didn't anyway. You might have. You could be lying. Are you lying to me? It's not very nice on a first date. Eh. Okay. Stripes, stripes, stripes on that leg. Done. And we'll put like a dark stripe down the bottom corner for that as well. And then try not to get them to line up super close because I don't want it to have like a weird tangent going in between the legs. Because then you both the legs to look separate, not like one giant leg. Because that'd be weird. the worst thing I've ever done. I'm learning new stuff, right? Okay, and I'm going to use the green over the top of the whole thing and sort of blend it. Blendy, blendy. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. I mean, it sort of looks like a watermelon, right? Sorta, sorta, not quite, but maybe. Look, if you squint your eyes, it looks like a watermelon. I like it, okay, we're leaving it. <laughs> Don't judge me. dimension make it a dynamic now it did not occur to me that because I've used two different shades of green here I'm not really gonna be able to use either or of them for shading without it looking weird but we'll try we will. Yeah, not too bad. Seem better. 
also seen worse. Okay. So she's got her green stuffy pants. She's got a pink top. And she's going to have a darker green jacket vest thingo. So like G28 style dark. Why is my shadow in the light of this again? It's really frustrating because I just I, I don't want to have my shadow in the way so you can actually see what I'm doing but I can't move my light anywhere else. Does she look like a watermelon yet? I think it'll come together when we add the spots. What do you think? Okay. And as for her boots, I feel like maybe dark green's the way to go. Do I have a darker green? No. I have one shade darker. It's not going to work. I wonder if I can mix it with a grey to make it darker. Let's try that with cool grey seven over the top. Make it nearly black. Does it still have a green tone? It does. Ooh. Let's try that. Colouring this. Green. I could do like a grey and that might be cool. Yeah, that looks sort of like it. Okay. From boot to boot. to be dark because it's further back so we'll get a darker grey. Do I have a darker grey that's not just black? I do. See tense and that gives the impression of it being further back. Is it shady or darker? It still has that green undertone. Tell this pen needs refilling because of the insane amount of squeaking. Okay. Right. So I got this on 
of shade and then I have to sort of do all of it because otherwise it's gonna look silly. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeaker. Squeak, squeaking. Do I have that one? No, I do not. Okay. I'm not going to be really refilling that one today. Okay. Do I actually still need it for a second? Let's do some. Handy dandy colorless blender and let that have a touch. Get my nice dark looking red to do the front and the inside of the mouth, or the background of the mouth. What is the background of the mouth? I ask you. Weird thing to say. Okay. Now the top of it, I feel, should be in a light green. Okay, looks good. Okay, now for the dots. Now I could do them in black. I might use that grey, actually. Just because then it will tie in better, I think. So, do you like the little lines, little dots? Because pump, pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds aren't so cute. They are little lines. Line, 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 line. It occurs to me that this uh, pattern doesn't really make sense for the flow of the clothes, but do I care? No, I do not. Friends, we got watermelon going on. That actually does make it look so much more like a watermelon. I'm so happy with that. Okay, characters are coloured. Now on to the background. So, <sighs> pages over the book. Oh, I've got really cold hands. I need like a little mini heater just here that I can warm up my fingies on. <sighs> e. 21. Let's colour these pages in. doing it again. Stop with the tunes, Casey. Stop with the tunes. Um, I'm not being particularly neat with this um, because I intend to go over it with another colour and blend it out. Just in case you're wondering why I am scribbling instead of actually colouring nicely. It's because it's not the, the last cut that I'm doing. I'm <laughs> getting a base coat down. Okay. Um, e53. Reckon. Yep. That one. I want it to make it look streaky as well, so it looks like the pages of the book they are writing on. 
the book it is. I mean, I know the prompt was like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so that's the book. What kind of book do you think these two would read as siblings? I, think, I like to imagine that it's one that, I don't know, maybe they used to read together as children before he got super shy and, I don't know, moved away for uni or something and then his sisters come to visit and it's like, hey, let's read this book again together and the book's like magic and whisks them off on adventure so they can learn more about each other and themselves as people and, yeah, stuff. Every generic story. But it's about these two, so it's okay, because they're cute. Um, I need like a sepia tone. Let's go over with a warm grey to dull it down a little. We'll go with warm grey three, I think. Okay, maybe a bit dark. We'll just do the inside bit. And then go with a lighter one. Okay, uh, lighter one. I'm going to one. going for but I don't have the colour I want so it will have to do I should just come over with a tea bag and stain it to be more the shade I want it to be because yay for tea bags <laughs> tea Could do with another cup of tea or even a coffee. <sighs> let's see, let's see. E17 for a cover. A nice warm leathery colour. I just realized I missed an entire chunk of book right there. Oopsie. I'll have to go back over that in a second. I hope I'm not the only one who does that and like misses entire chunks of their drawing because they weren't looking at the sketch properly. Okay, what did we do it with? We did E53. Here with some of this and some of this and dove down with a little bit of this. Oh, I've got the hiccups. Why do I have the hiccups? I disapprove of the hiccups. Oh, okay. Now the mast will be... Oh no, if I do E35 it's going to match his pants too closely. Uh, we'll go E13. E13. Okay, okay, 
that's good. That's good. And then the flag. The flag. Probably should put a flag. I don't know. Let's do the water first. Okay. Um, again, I suck <laughs> at colouring water. So I'm not going to try and make it actually look like water. I'm just going to have fun with making blue splodges. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Blue and teal splodges is what we're going for today. Um, BG15, BG49, oh, come here. Um, B00, B12, and B06, I think. These are my chosen watercolours. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going with zero zero first to do a base tone. I missed a shank of the book there as well. This would be one of the ones that a lot of my colours from my first set of Copic markers are the ones that keep running or are now running low. I've had them for so many, so many years and so they're starting to fail on me and obviously I've taken all my Copic markers out of their containers and put them into a nice, they run out on me and oh, 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 we are in luck. We have a refill for this one. Let's uh, shimmy this over here for one moment and make a mess of my desk. Hey, look, there's some paper towel I prepared earlier. Yeah. I don't use tweezers, by the way. <laughs> I hope it makes you cringe. Those of you who do use tweezers and any kind of uh, measurement device for this, but I do not. That is. That is how I do it. Nice and simple. Okay, I'll just make sure I don't have blue on my fingers. And quick test to make sure it's not bleeding out. Yeah, it's not. Cool. Let's go. Let's continue. That's much better. I can actually see that it's. Oh, it's so much darker now, too. Oops. Maybe I should have waited until I'd done a. a base coat over the whole thing. Now I've got like a darker section on this side. Oh well. Oh well. I need a new nib for this one as well because the eh, length of time I've used it when it had no ink in it, the, the nib's gone all bendy and uncomfortable and not very precise and I don't like it but I only have a select number of spare nibs, and I don't intend to use them on this blue, because I hardly ever use it. Which, you know, the amount that the nib is loose would make you think otherwise, but sometimes they just get like that a lot quicker than other colours, just because. It's not necessarily because I use this colour a lot, it's just this particular nib sucked to begin with so it's all funny and bendy and not very precise and I don't like it but I'm leaving it because because I am I'm just gonna complain about it to you guys enjoy that sailing across the ocean of literature Makes me want to watch The Page Master. Any of you guys remember that movie? I believe it's on Netflix, but it was for a little while down here. Because I was so excited when I saw it and watched it. With my daughter. Not that she has any idea what was going on, because she's only like 
eight months old, but I enjoy watching things with her, even if she doesn't know what's going on, so that's that, okay. I might just colour in that background a bit so I can do a deeper shade over it and it will go a little bit darker. Do 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 Okay, we got that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, B12, which is, oh, the wrong way around. I must have put that one in wrong. I say wrong, I always put my Copics back in the rack with the grey line facing outward, so I know which side is the brush nib and which side is the chisel nib without actually looking, so I can just pull it out and use it straight away, but obviously I put this one way wrong because it was the wrong way around, and that could have been a disaster. It's a good thing I was testing it over there first. I'm very protective of my Copics as well. If anyone takes any out, they must put them back exactly where they used to be. If you put them back in the wrong spot, I'd be grumpy. I'm also very... I don't know if you've noticed as I've been doing this, but I put them back after every colour. I can't get loads of colours out once, except for like this particular scenario. But I don't leave them out once I use them. Once I'm done with them, I put them back straight away. Because it must be neat. It must be. You chaotic people who get all your colours out at once and then just leave them on your table all messy and ah, just makes me cringe almost as much as people banging pencils on tables makes me cringe. That's like the worst thing in the world to me. Do not bang pencils on tables. You will break the lead and it will never sharpen properly. And I swear my fiance does it sometimes just to annoy me because he loves me so much. He likes to annoy me. That's the mark of a good relationship right there. Deliberately annoying your significant other with things you know that bug them. Please, if you have any examples of how you deliberately annoy your significant others, let me know because they do make me laugh. More, more, more blue. This is my amazing technique of colouring water because, oh gosh, that's much bigger than I intended it to be. Oh well, let's make it work. super excited I got some uh, mail today like some of my crazy at home COVID shopping online shopping packages actually arrived today and um, I got some watercolor sketchbooks which I'm keen to try out which I was thinking about doing on stream today but I was like no I have to finish this picture I started it long enough ago and I've deliberately been waiting for my next live stream to finish it and I can't not do it. So maybe one of my future videos will be me playing in my watercolour sketchbooks if you'd be interested. I actually have no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this, just in case you're wondering how I pick where I'm putting the dots, there is there's no 
actual strategy. I'm just kind of winging it, to be honest. Don't stress yourself out about it. Just wing it. That's what I say. <laughs> I wing too many things in life. Do not listen to me. Winging it is not always the best strategy. But if you're like me and you stress out about silly things quite a lot, Maybe winging it is for you because it means you're not stressing out about it every single minute you're working on it beforehand. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to wing it and not stress about it. I'm just going to do it there and then and it will be done and I don't have to worry. That is, that is my strategy on a lot of things. Just wing it. It's probably why my fiancé beats me at board games so often because I don't actually strategize. I just wing it. Needs more speckles. <laughs> and I feel like it needs a brighter blue coming in here as well. <laughs> I'm kind of having fun just doing that now because of my tunes. Yay! Okay. We're going to get a BO2 in here. No, it's B2, BO2. And we're going to go over a lot of this. Just for your viewing pleasure. chisel nib and lure it out. Okay. And I think that's what I've done. I might just get rid of the defining of the brighter blue. And I still want to watch Page Master. I might have to do that after I'm done here. And if Abigail wakes up, we'll go put Page Master on. Yeah, I need some chocolate. Because chocolate. Alright, let's put these back where they go. Zero, zero, goes over there. Green. 
green and pink. So we're going to go with G14 and this pretty pink here that I use for her hair. And I'm just going to do some stripes, I think. Because this is her ship, boat, book, thing. <laughs> He's just along for the ride, freaking out his poor little nerd brain. I really like this green and pink together. <laughs> oh no! I feel a new hair colour coming on. No, I must not bleach my hair. I must not. I am trying to grow it. Bleaching is counterproductive to growing. Okay, so we've got all the colours down. Now it's time for the lines. And I'm going to, like I said, use my Prismacolor colour erase pencil, I think, for this. So I'll sharpen her up and get to work just because I'm really enjoying I'm going to try and keep my hand shadow out of the way. So you can actually see what I'm doing. sketchy sketchy scratchy look that I like about this technique I say technique it's kind of a technique this mixed media vibe I got going on right now okay and then I'm gonna have to get pretty close to this bit just because I don't want to mess up her face because I'm not getting in there close enough I would normally have my head directly over the page but Obviously, if I do that, you're not going to be able to see a thing, so I have to anyway. So I apologise if you can actually see the top of my head in frame right now. I am trying my best to stay as far away as possible while still being able to see everything. Which didn't actually get erased from the sketch anyway. But that is really, really shady. Shady, shady, shady. You're gonna hear shady, shady, shady a lot during this process. I hope that you don't mind. Not mind my eyebrow. This eyebrow. I need my piercings now, good, because I haven't got any money. Can tell I remember these characters from two weeks ago when I actually designed them and did the piece. <sighs> Ooh, Postman's here. He's stopping him, he is stopping him, I so sweet. I might have more COVID shopping on already. <laughs> I bought so many things online like months ago that obviously haven't arrived yet. And so because nothing arrived yet, I uh, kept buying things because I didn't have the satisfaction of having new things that I'd bought here because everything took ages to arrive. So I got like a million things coming in the post because I just kept buying stuff because I needed the satisfaction of new things. And yeah, a lot of the stuff that I ordered Still hasn't arrived. Okay, I ordered some cool pens and some new headphones and obviously some watercolour art books, sketchbooks, which I mentioned earlier, which arrived today, which I'm excited to try out. And 
it's super frustrating because my fiance has also been ordering things and a lot of his packages have arrived but mine haven't so every time a package gets here and it's for him I'm just like gosh damn it Craig stop it it's not fair why should his packages arrive but mine not you know Some crazy winged eyeliner you got there. You watermelon, watermelon, watermelon punk girl. cramp in my hand. This does not normally happen. I think it's because I'm so far away from the paper and I'm holding my pencil different so you can actually hopefully see what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's making my hand cramp up. <laughs> Which is not ideal because I've got a lot of picture left to go. <laughs> forgetting to talk um words 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 yeah it would be much easier to talk if I had something to talk about so my um my friend got a new kitten that's something fun it's a cute kitten I want to cuddle it but I cannot because it's not in this country. Um, another friend of mine got a new dog. It's a cute dog. I want to cuddle it, but I cannot because it is in a different country. I have not got any new pets, which is sad because I like having pets and want all of the pets. I love my cats. One of them is currently locked in the laundry because he was scratching the bed. It's, I, I don't lead a terribly exciting life. I is a mother with a baby, so I stay home and look after the baby. That's all I do, plus artwork and playing The Sims, which I've been contemplating streaming myself playing The Sims just because I like playing The Sims and want my friends to enjoy me playing The Sims too. <laughs> So if you're keen for that, do let me know and I might set up some sim streams. But yeah, I'm not terribly exciting aside from the art. Because, you know, I would normally either just have finished a convention or just about to be doing a convention, but obviously Conventions have been cancelled this year, so I've not been doing any con stuff. I um, haven't been doing an awful lot. I just, yeah. This whole global pandemic thing really put a damper on uh, stuff. 
don't do a whole lot of stuff. And I'm not really a terribly stuff doing person anyway. All the stuff I would do has been cancelled. So there's extra non stuff going on. You know what? To make this more interesting, let's let's start uh, talking about these little characters. So we've got a brother and a sister. The brother's older, shy, scared of life. Sister's younger, super adventurous and exciting. Wants to get him out into the world to enjoy life. He wants her to calm down so she doesn't get hurt. What else we got? They're going to go on some crazy page master adventure. Should I give them some um, animal sidekicks? I mean, we already had dog and pig given to us with the prompts, so, you know. But technically, they have got animal sidekicks. I just haven't drawn them as in this image. But we can say, for the sake of their story, that there is... A dog and pig animal psychic coming with them. He can be terribly frightened of them both and the dog just wants to love him and he's terrified of it because I don't know, allergies or something or he's just a big fraidy cat and then yeah and she's got a pig and in honour of the memory of my mum's pig, who just passed away, the pet pig will be named Harvey. Harvey the pig. And, um... Somehow, the pig and the dog are very important to learning of their life lessons. And at the end of their crazy adventure, they can't take the pig and the dog with them and the kid, the boy is super sad about it because he really got attached to the dog even though he's scared of it for half the time and he wishes he could take the dog home but he can't so when he gets home he goes to this shelter and adopts an old dog that needs a home because it's going to get put to sleep because it's old and no one wants to adopt it so he ends up with big floppy old dog that drools everywhere. The kind of thing he would have hated before this whole adventure because it was messy and smelly. But now he loves it. And I feel like the dog's name should be Bernard. 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 Yes. Perfect. I gotta stop humming things that are probably copyrighted. Um, okay. Looks good, looking good. My hand's cramping. I need to sharpen my pencil, but it's looking good. Coming together with the lines. And I just realised I haven't lined the back of her hair. I wonder how many of you are sat there going, You missed the hair! You missed it! Go back and do the hair. It looks rubbish. How has it been done? Why? I get very silly when I have nothing to talk about but I need to talk, by the way. Um, because I just try and make up something to talk about and start acting weird. So I apologize that you get to uh, get to witness this side of me. I'm actually surprised we managed to go this long without Abigail waking up. I'm not going to, you know, touch wood, but it's nice of her to let me have this time with you, you know? Been sun 
A lot of my mumbling is usually singing, which is why I'm humming a lot and do to do to doing and then stopping myself because I don't want to be singing anything that's going to get the audio on my <laughs> video turned off on YouTube when I upload it later. And yeah, so because watching me do this for an hour, two hours with absolutely no sound would be worse than hearing me ramble about next to nothing important for two hours whilst I'm doing it. At least there's something going on with my rambling and it's not completely silent. One of these days I will start to stream at a time when people are actually online to watch. A lot of my friends and or followers are in different time zones, which for me right now are sleeping but I can't stream at the time they're not sleeping because it's when I should be sleeping and if I'm trying to stream I'll wake up people who want to sleep which isn't good for them because they want to sleep like my nearly nine month old daughter and my fiance who works a day job and would not appreciate me streaming at 5am and waking him up and to be honest I don't want to wake up at 5am to stream that's not going to make quality artwork that's going to make a very tired and grumpy me ranting about how tired I am for the entire stream which no one cares about that <laughs> Okay, so we got her sword done. I'm digging it. I hope you are too. <laughs> um, uh, sniffles. I need another cup of tea, so I will be back in just a moment because I'm going to go get a nice hot drink. And whilst I am gone, you can say hello to who we're going to put on stream today. Do, do, do. You can talk to Poppy whilst I'm gone.
have a nice talk to Poppy while I was gone. Back up on the shelf you go. Okay. Cold hands, cold hands. But warm coffee has been got. Mm. Tasty. Alright. So whilst the kettle was boiling, I went and got the mail in. And it was one of my amazing COVID impulse buys that arrived, which I ordered so long ago. Oh my gosh. Um, I ordered some clothes for Abigail. <laughs> and like, you know, on Facebook, how occasionally you get the pop-ups of things related to things that you like that you didn't even know Facebook like, knew that you liked. Well, Facebook, a long time ago, showed me these Dragon Ball Z baby clothes, which is like the costumes of the characters, so like little cosplays for your baby to wear. And I was, you know, I was intrigued. <laughs> so, in the mail I just got a tiny little Vegeta costume. <laughs> And a tiny little Goku costume and I was smart when I ordered them and ordered them up a few size bigger than she's actually was actually at at the time because I figured they weren't going to arrive very quickly at all and so by the looks of them they are exactly the size that she is in now so I may be posting some adorable photos of a baby in Dragon Ball Z cosplay <laughs> soon. Just because how could I not? I mean, come on. I, I don't know quite what I'm doing with this. Why am I? The best thing about doing this with my Prismacolors, by the way, is I can erase them. So if I make a mistake with the shading, which I just did, I can erase it and redo it, which is amazing because I can't do that with COVID. Just added a bit too much shading there. I wasn't happy with how it was looking. So, yeah, we got we got a <sighs> it occurs to me now why this hand looked so funny. It's because I had coloured it the other way than it should have actually been. So Good thing I hadn't done the line art yet because it's a relatively easy fix. It doesn't quite look right because obviously it's not the right angle, but it's better than it was. In fact, I feel like the tip of that thumb would be out like this. That's much better. And then if I just shade, you can't see the mistake. Yay! I love Prismacolor Colorless pencils so much. I want to go buy some more. I wish they came in more colors, but at the same time I don't because I like having the limited choices. <laughs> but if they came in more colors, that would be really good for this kind of line art that I'm doing with them lately. I also like doing this kind of line work with just one colour instead of mix and matching because one, I'm lazy. We have been over this. Two, I feel if I had more colours then I would just get overwhelmed with trying to use them all instead of just going, hey, I like the way this dark purple looks. I'm going to do that. And yeah, instead I'd be like, oh, I want to use this beigey skin tone around the edge of all the skin areas. And then be all like, oh, but the eyes are a different color, so I'm going to use a different color around the eyes. And, you know, I'd just, I'd make a mess out of it, trying to make it look cool, I think. 
let's say. And I realize I am going over a lot of this pink hair <laughs> with the shading of this purple pencil, but I wasn't really happy with how the pink hair looked, <laughs> so I don't hugely mind. It's still pink, it still has the pink undertone, it's just I'm adding better shading with this pencil because my shading with my Copics just did not look the best. And I'm sure we can all agree on that. It was very messy. I tried, but I failed. So I'm touching it up with my pencil here. And I'm sure this little guy appreciates it, whatever his name may be. I feel like I should name them. Let's think. Did I name them last time? I don't think so. Don't think I did. I'm not done yet, Abigail. I'll go back to sleep. Oh, no, wait. I thought it was Abigail, but I think it's Honeybee. And my cat is meowing for me, which is probably going to wake up Abigail, actually. <laughs> oh no, they're both awake. She's not crying, she's just making noises, so it should be okay for the time being. Let's see if I can at least finish this before she starts screaming for my attention. And I keep getting messages from my friend, so if it's buzzing through my phone, which is what I'm recording this with, and you can hear it in the camera and it's annoying, I'm really sorry. But as I'm using my iPad to watch the stream myself so I can see your comments, and my phone to record this, I can't actually reply to my friend and tell them that I'm streaming. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, yeah. A little bit more detail into the hair and some hair strands here and there. A little bit more detail to the hair and we'll add some loose hair strands. Messy hair update on your guy. Needs a name. All right. So then we gotta do his glasses. So what should we name these guys? Hmm. Did I give him sky? I cool. I did give him sky glasses. And they're just some sketch that they have at the moment. Um, so he's got a little nerdy guy. Let's do the cute little guy. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think she's yelling at Honeybee. Um, let's see. Shy and scared of the world. He's got pink hair. And he likes maths. <laughs> and you can probably hear Honeybee crying at my door. She wants to come in and climb on my desk and get cat hair everywhere, so she's not coming in. But you could probably hear her. She says hello. <laughs> hmm. 
He's a curly. He either needs a name that really doesn't suit him or a name that really does suit him. And I can't decide which. Like, we could give him like a name like Maverick that really does not suit a shy nerdy guy and everyone expects him to be super cool and calm and collected. Or a jock or something and then this kid rocks up. Or we can give him a name like Toby. Which... I'm actually kind of leaning towards. Toby is kind of cute. And his full name can be Tobias. But he goes by Toby because he's a nerdy little boy. And then when he gets all confident and stuff, he starts going by Tobias. And she always calls him Tobias. And he's like, it's Toby. Or maybe he always goes by, he wants everyone to call him Tobias because that's his name. But everyone calls him Toby because Tobias doesn't suit him. I like that even better. She calls him Toby, and he doesn't like it. And the whole journey, she's calling him Toby. And then, like, at the end, near the end of the journey, where he starts, you know, being, being brave and stuff, she calls him Tobias because he starts to suit his name more. I like it. This is Tobias. Tobias. Toby. Now we need to name her. And she's probably got some kind of fancy name too, if Tobias is anything to go by. But she doesn't like her full name because it's boring and dull and she wants a cool name. So she goes by like some nickname. And it's like the opposite. He won't call her by the nickname because her name's not her nickname and he's like but your name's Genevieve and she's all like no it's not her name's Vera and yeah and the whole story he's calling her Genevieve and at the end he calls her Vera because it's cool and then she's like no my name is Genevieve and I think I've just named her her name is now Genevieve how do you spell Genevieve um, I'll just write Vera for now. Vera. And I'll look up how to spell Genevieve at a later date. Oh, honeybee, you're louder than the baby. She really wants my attention, my cat. She's probably grumpy because the laundry door's shut because Vegemite's locked away because he was scratching the bed. And she's like, but I want to be in there. Or I want to be able to get in there if I wanted to. And you've locked the door. And I don't like it. I want the door open. But I'm not going to go in there if you open it. I just want it to be open so I can have the choice to go in there if I so desire. Which is not how this works. But she's a cat. So she wants the door open so she can get out if she wants to. Or get in there if she wants to. Even though she has actually no intention of going in there. But Vegemite's in there, so that makes it cool. You know? She's a cat. Cats are picky. If you don't own a cat, this is cat rule number one. If their door is shut, they want the door open. Whether or not they intend of going into the room or outdoors or wherever it is the door leads to, or not. They just want it open, so they have the choice. I forgot to color my bed. I'm using the wrong color, I realize, but it'll do. Ah! There's a wall there. Alright. Get this water outlined, and then we can get some highlights on this, and we'll be done. So we got Tobias and Genevieve, the punk 
watermelon math nerd siblings <laughs> on their adventure through the seas of literature on a book of magic. If a movie comes out about siblings like this now, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm suing. it's totally an original idea and I made it up first yep okay. it's only ever me no one else <laughs> okay background ones and shut it down cause they're in the distance do 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 And I realized that this doesn't make sense with this foot being behind, but I've drawn it now, so we're dealing with it. Okay? Just don't look at it too hard, and we'll all be okay. Shady, shading in the background water. Shady, 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 shady. Shady, 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 shady. Anyone seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Because I just got major lick, 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 just watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 3 and you'll understand. You will understand. Okay, shading in under here, shading in under here. Shady, 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 shady. And then I might do like a bit of shading along the page of the book just to give it a bit of depth. This bit, my pencil's got an annoying scratchy bit in the lead and it's making all the lines not smooth and I hate it so much. What is that and why is it in my lead? Stop being there. Disapprove of you. Okay, and I'll do a little bit of shading on this bit too, I think. Just adding some dimension. Okay. Now, <laughs> there's some lines in the background from where I sketch her out originally, and it's really throwing me off, so I might add this, like, circle of colour. Just cover that up a little bit. The question is what colour? What colour? What colour? What colour? What colour? Mm, not around this bit. Probably yelling at me, look at that crazy. Casey, you forgot the flag. Get the flag. Okay. And then what 
color should the background be? I'm feeling sunset. Sunset? Sunset maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Just doing this a bit darker around her. Because I feel like my hand smudged it a little bit whilst I was doing that. Okay, sunset. So pink to orange to yellow. Or yellow to orange to pink. I feel I need pink at the bottom because there's so much pink at the top. If I put pink at the top, it's gonna just blend in. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, uh, RV13. gonna be really awkward trying to go around all the dots of water. I should have done this first. Oopsies. I mean I could just yeah I'm just gonna colour over on that. I don't care. It might work. We'll, we'll find out. Sunset glow. And I thought I was using a colour that wasn't so run out, but it seems that this orange is pretty running out. Like ah. I swear I haven't used this one that much either. It must just be a drier one. some blue over the top of the water splatters just to bring them back in because obviously some of them have disappeared because I'm colouring over the top of them. Which is not ideal I feel like. It's not on fault for not thinking of doing a background before I colour it all in. But it's okay. It adds depth. That's my excuse. And if you just heard that bang that's my cat. That's honeybee. She's uh, being silly outside my bedroom door because I won't let her in here and I haven't gone to let her into the laundry yet because she's crazy. Crazy cat. 
I love it, don't get me wrong, but if she was here, she would be sitting on top of my art book and I would not be able to draw, which is kind of counterproductive to the reason for streaming that I'm drawing. Okay, cool. Let's just uh, put some more blue spots over the top of this background and we look like we might be done. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, we got highlighting to do as well. You are correct. Thank you for reminding me. gel pen because that is a really good question actually where is my handy dandy white gel pen to block it with my hand in the shadow but I need to to be able to get the pen to work so I apologize for that little pink hair too. My poor little Tobias with his pink hair. Not that he's wrong having pink hair, but he just looks so scared. <laughs> poor little guy. Um, if it works, I might... Do I have a Posca? No, I don't. Must be on my other desk. Okay. see it in the yellow but I'm doing it anyway just because <laughs> we're getting pretty close to the end of this I hope you all have enjoyed watching the live streams it only took two to do this piece we could have finished it in one if I got a babysitter I'm doing it so if uh, anyone wants to watch me do something like this again do let me know and I can plan ahead and do it I might even make it a 
might do a live stream once a month kind of thing. So we have a scheduled time for it so people know when it's going to be on so I'm not having this issue of a lot of my followers being like oh no I'm asleep at that time or I'm busy you can you can plan for it like I know a couple of my friends over in the UK were upset because they knew they wouldn't be awake in time to watch me today so if uh why did I start on the right hand side of this I'm gonna smudge it everywhere Oh my goodness, can't see my mum skull. Um, need my mum here because she's left handed. I think I did her for me. Um, yes, so if, uh, if you'd like to see this again, let me know. We can plan for it. Do something fun, like play in your watercolours or just do another thing like this where we design some characters together to help me struggle with my art block a little bit. I'm adding sparkles just because I want to. It's a magical journey. There needs to be sparkles. Um, yeah, so do in the opinions below if you would be interested in maybe doing like a Friday stream or something and I can still do my weekly uploads on the Tuesday instead of taking over my Tuesday weekly upload with a live stream that's what I'm thinking about doing anyway I'm also thinking of making it on Twitch instead of Facebook but I would appreciate some feedback. I'm just gonna... I don't want to smudge it. <laughs> Have some coffee before it gets cold. Um, yeah. And I think it would be cool to do anyway. Having a Twitch would be fun. I'd be able to get my, make my own emotes and stuff. I'm not quite, I don't know exactly 100% how Twitch works, but I know you get emotes. <laughs> and because uh, I've, I've uh, designed some custom ones for my brother who did some streaming on Twitch of him playing video games. You would be interested in scheduled streams do let me know and we can start to organize that and then maybe I can get my mum to babysit or something so we can uh, stream for as long as we need to without having to worry about little miss waking up don't know if you can hear that, but she's starting to cool for me now. As much as, you know, a nine month old, nearly nine month old baby can cool. Anyway, it's uh, yelling with no actual words involved. Just finished doing this, she'll be fine. This is Guinevere or Vera, each other as siblings, and they loved having you here, watching the streams of their creation. And thank you to my family and to my friends who helped by giving me prompts. And thank you to everybody who came by to the streams to 
cheer me on as I struggle through my art block to create this piece. I'm having I'm struggling with the pen by the way that's why it's taking so long that's why I might, don't use this one very often because the ink doesn't come out evenly because the annoying scrape down the middle when the ink comes out because it's a junk which is annoying because normally any of those signals are quite good one over the other one. All right, so there you have it. We have Tobias and Guinevere, and they have enjoyed having you here with us. So I'll see you all next week for another couple with Casey, and thanks again for coming. Bye! <laughs>